Hey, what's up, Lightbolt Joe here. Today we're gonna to discuss the Solar Opposites Halloween Special Part Two, The Hunt for Brown October. This is the 12th episode of the fifth season. I binged the fifth season to make sure I'm caught up and then to watch the 12th final episode of the fifth season. They are gonna have a sixth season. Love Solar Opposites. It's a Hulu show. It's it's just, it's wonderful. Um, I love that Sean Giambroni played himself in a very quick scene and he voices Yemulak in this and it's hysterical. Cast does a wonderful job. They've uh, adapted quite well with in regards to bringing in certain elements of pop culture, politics. It, it's just hysterical. It's crude. It's warm. It's welcoming. It's heartfelt. But it's hysterical. So this Halloween special is a sequel to the first Halloween special they did in 22, I believe. And uh, Corvo has to kill the Great Pumpkin to, like, survive this murderer's house, something to that extent. Little did he know that the Santa Claus effect happens, where you kill the last successor, where you kill these... Yeah, the last successor of the holiday, you then become the successor. Just like how, uh, if you kill Santa Claus, then you become the next Santa Claus. So, if you kill the Great Pumpkin, you become the Great Pumpkin. Um, that's how it's explained. So Corville starting to turn into the Great Pumpkin while the Solar Opposites are trying to get to uh, join this country club. And then all of a sudden Halloween magic starts to pour out. There's chaos Halloween magic everywhere. And then there's this random guy, Ranch White, at the country club who's, you know, trying to guide them into getting into the country club kind of a thing. But it turns out he was a lying snake. And he got them jobs as valets. And he is the actual... Thanksgiving spirit, the grand gravy, the grand brown gravy or whatever the title was, who wants the Halloween magic so that way he can finally defeat Halloween and and Thanksgiving can rule. So it's just a very entertaining plot where the spokes, the holiday spirit of gravy, Thanksgiving, is the villain of this story. And Corvo kills, a, tries to kill the Halloween spirit witch at one point and she just disintegrates down to a blob um, who then pupa and jk sevens who is a new ro robot introduced in season five um are tasked to destroy her but they can't and then they have to bring her back to her full halloween spirit self to defeat the thanksgiving monster wonderful she, they, she's then granted the the powers via corvo to become the great halloween pumpkin to be the great pumpkin witch so never have has there been a great pumpkin witch before so it's just cool it has a really great you know three minute epilogue basically of working together and you know defeating the negativity of it the negative aspect of thanksgiving um bringing then in the halloween spirit as it should be then to thanksgiving then to christmas so it's it was a very well done very quick very fast paced i love the costuming that they all had throughout turning into certain things terry as a uh, as a ghost was funny he's seen you know, I, he looks like cast with a friendly ghost at one point. Hysterical. I uh, I really love this show. I've always said great, wonderful things about the show. I'm very excited to see what they do next. I'm very excited to see if there's going to be another holiday special. You know, they just mentioned Thanksgiving. So there should be a sequel holiday special then in regards to Thanksgiving. What happens now that Thanksgiving no longer has a holiday spirit? What happens next? I'm very curious. Solar Opposites Halloween Special Part 2. The Hunt for Brown October. On to the next review. Jamahala.